So today we're going to take a look at the Sony DWX third generation and what we're really excited to announce is the Sony DWR SO3D is now super slot compatible. let's get started with some of the features. Now obviously as we mentioned the Sony DWR SO3D receiver is now super slot compatible. That means it will work with our Sound Devices 8 series with our SL2 for example. And thanks to the Sony Cross Remote we'll also be able to control our transmitters from our 8 series as well but we'll have a look at that in a second. The sound quality from these products is absolutely superb. This is West End quality sound. And I just wanted to quickly mention that the DWT BO3R micro transmitter, that's the more rugged option for the more robust shoots and it's also IPX5 splash resistant which is nice. So we've got backwards compatibility between this current Sony third generation and the previous Sony DWX series. And you also get about 21 spaces per eight megahertz TV channel with 144 megahertz wideband range in total. And the last feature I wanted to quickly mention is the warranty. So these come with a two years manufacturer warranty with the option to extend that to up to five years with the prime support. Now this is just manufacturer warranty and doesn't cover user error, but it's a nice peace of mind to have. And the best part is it's replacement cover. So should one of these units go down, they aim to have a replacement with you within three working days in Europe or even sooner in the UK. So let's take a look at the kit. So when you purchase the bundle, you'll have the option for two different connectors. You've got the Sony 15 pin connector and the Super Slot 25 pin, so make sure you purchase the right one. So now that we've got the receiver fitted, our SMA is connected and our power, we're going to switch the unit on and go through some of the settings. So you may have noticed that the receiver hasn't had power yet and that's because out of the box the 8 series will not provide power to the super slot but we can change that. So we go to our menu on our right hand side, we scroll down to number 14 which is super slot, we do options, super slot power and power the slot on and it's jumped into life. Now when we power up the receiver through the 8 series it will automatically set the receiver's output to digital but if you want to change that yourself you can. Just go onto the receiver press down twice, hold set, and you can swap between analog and digital. The 8 series will only work with the receiver in digital. Next, we need to RF pair our transmitter to our receiver. So for that, we're gonna need both units switched off. And then we need to hold the minus button and switch them back on. After a second, the receiver will detect the transmitter and then we just hit set and then they'll pair. After that, the transmitter can go to the talent and we can cross remote control it from about a 10 meter range. So the next thing we need to do is get to our receiver overview on our eight series. And to do that, we go back into the super slot menu. So we scroll down to number 14, super slot, and we'll display our receiver here. Now, if you don't see yours there, that's not a problem. All you need to do is cycle the super slot power again. So we hit options, Receiver power, off, and on again. And then it'll detect receiver type. So the 8 series will work out what receiver you have slotted in. Once it's done that, we can go back into the menu and select our receiver. And there's our receiver overview, which has a lot of really useful information. And we've also got control over our transmitter from here. So things like we can power down our transmitter from here and power it back up. We can lock the buttons on our transmitter to stop them being tampered with and we've got a few options for those. We can set the attenuation so we can alter the gain from here. We've got our low cut filter we can set from here as well, RF power and we can sync. So should we change the frequency on the 8 series, all we need to do is sync it with that option and that'll sync the frequency between the receiver and the transmitter again. The bundles are available with either the belt pack transmitters or the micro transmitters. There's also an option for a handheld or a boom pole transmitter, as well as other accessories available on the website, such as batteries and antennas. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you next time.